Welcome to Sculpture Studios. We're creating another piece of 3D display for a movie red carpet event. In this case, the signage we're making is for the 2017 Emoji Movie. Now, if you saw the Angry Bird's Eyes and the Egg and the Nest that we made for Cannes last year, here Icon have commissioned us again for the same event in the same location a year later for a different movie. We're going to be creating the signage to go above the publicity platform out on the pier, and it's going to be mounted up on the scaffold in Riggin, above where the characters walk onto the stage. This is going to be surrounded by vinyl graphics, and so needs to be in keeping with the quality of the images around it, and this is going to last for a one day event. We start by taking the images the client has sent us, and we blow these up in scale. This is going to be transferred directly onto our large blocks of polystyrene or styrofoam, and everything will be cut using our vertical hot wire table. Once all the shapes are cut, the edges are softened using a sandpaper or a sanding block, and we go over with our sticky back tin foil. This will protect the polystyrene from the resin and fiberglass going on top, which is only going to be built up in a thin layer in this case, just for a bit of added strength. This doesn't need to be a heavy duty layer, as this is going to be an out of arm's reach one day event. This whole process, which we call a blanket coat of glass fibre, is often used when a mould isn't cost effective, we don't need to duplicate the piece several times over, and the quality of the piece can be achieved from going straight on with glass fibre and working up the finish. Once the fiberglass is set and we've rubbed it down to remove any sharp points, we go over with a flow coat resin and a powder mix. We then start yeah, going over. Minute, where's, where's all the bits of me doing all the sanding? Bit, bits of you doing all the. Yeah, I did all the sanding. Look, you've gone one one clip to the next, and there's you yeah, go on hit hit play. There's no sanding bit. I did all the sanding. Well, I don't know. I'm just working with what we got, Kev. It took loads of work to do, and you've just gone for what, and all the metal work and everything as well. Where's... Well, no, there's, there's oh, clips, of, there's clips oh, of you okay, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. yeah, no, the, look, look, there you are painting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you happy? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, after Kevin's done all the sanding for like what a week? Is that good enough? Yeah, yeah. Sanded for like a yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We'll go for that. After Kevin did all the sanding, we then went on with emulsion paints. As this is only going to be used for one day, emulsion paints are cost effective, and we're also going to seal this with a lacquer. For the lettering, vinyl graphics would struggle to adhere to the emulsion paints, so we've stenciled these out and masked up the design to paint by hand. We've used solid Roscoe paint so the black is really bold, and we make sure that all the edges are crisp like printed text. To complete the sculpture, we're creating a little arm to look as though Jean, the main protagonist from the film and the poster, is holding on to the sign. Once again, it's carved from polystyrene with a foil layer and a blanket coat of glass fibre and finishing. With all the work complete, it's time to ship the sign out to Cairns to be set up on the pier. There's always a lot going on on the beach, the boardwalk and the main street opposite to promote the event, and even a lot going on in the sky with TJ Miller parachuting in. Well, the sign served its purpose, and we look forward to any more promotional work for movies in the future. We'd like to thank Icon for coming to us again this year and commissioning us with the work. And Kevin for doing the sanding. And Kevin for doing the sanding. Anyway, please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook and follow at Aidan Hines on Twitter. And for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.